offer coast steering along the Pembrokeshire coast, exploring the coastline at sea level. So adventure swimming, rock hopping, cliff jumping, poking about in the rock pools, a bit of wave dodging, just everything your parents said don't do at the beach as a child. We'll go out and have a go. It's really quite a small business in that it's, it's just me. And then during the summer months when it gets really busy, I employ up to six freelance members of staff, instructors. Um, and the idea is it's a mobile activity centre. So what we do is we meet clients down at the beach. Uh, there's a number of reasons. A, it keeps my overheads down, which means that I can pass that saving directly on to the clients. And we also get to spend a lot longer in the water because we're not wasting time to and fro from a centre and things. It's all on location. I think the biggest challenge running as a small company is budget, in that there's very little budget for marketing and it should be our top priority. So to keep the budget down, or to keep <laughs> spending of that budget down, uh, social media and the internet, 99% of it is free. Back when we first started, we desperate need a website, get a website up, go. So we got a five page brochure site up, but it was static, it didn't, didn't do anything. Whereas now, I've got complete control over the site. When we're looking at the website, we need to know what's working and what's not. Are we, are we listing high you know, on page one, page two on a Google search? Uh, and the way we can do that is by using Google Analytics in that it will tell us what websites people have come from to get to our site, what they've searched for in Google. I don't know, you search for Coast Steering Pembrokeshire and it will tell me how many people have searched for that term and got to our website because they found us using that term. Search engine optimization is all about the content of the page. So it's no good you, I don't know, expecting to be found for search results for rocket science when you haven't mentioned rocket science anywhere in that page. And then you've also got keywords and descriptions. Um, so for example, for co-steering, I've got a lot of keywords that are based around cliff jumping, co-steering, Pembrokeshire. Google loves it if things keep changing within the website. If it's just static, it'll look at it once, maybe twice, and then just go, oh, nothing's changed which means you, you won't rank very high in, in the Google search results. Whereas if you're constantly changing the content and keeping it up to date and keeping it moving and adding new pages and new pictures, and then hopefully <laughs> the theory is that it keeps you, keeps you up in the Google search results. On the new design website, um, I've tried to make it so that it steers people to look. So on, on all the pages, there's a little pebble that kind of quivers and so it will draw the eye and it's instructing the, the visitor what to do because quite often you'll see a static web page and it's just amazing content and loads of photos and things but you get to the bottom and you're like what should I do now? Where should I? Whereas hopefully on all my pages you can get to the bottom of the book. When we first started we obviously checked out our competition to see what they were up to and then it's all about obviously getting ahead of your competition. So I, I was already on Facebook, for example, just as, as Cleopatra, um, and very quickly clients, it was client-led, clients started finding me and friending me, so I get a friend request and it's like, who's that? I reckon, oh yeah, you came co-steering last week. So then I thought, well hang about, let's jump on it. So I created the co-steering page, Celtic Quest Co-Steering's Facebook page. Facebook is, is probably our main one actually, because um, everything can feed into that, so we can put our YouTube videos on Facebook and we can tweet from Facebook. In order to view the first page that you hit as a video, so in order to view that you'd have to like the page. And then your like, in turn, will be fed into your newsfeed to all your friends. So if you've got 300 friends, those 300 friends will then see that you liked my page and potentially visit it themselves. And in turn, like the page and it'll just filter out like that. And then if you've already been out with us as a client, say, um, we try and encourage people to upload their own photos to our page or tag Celtic Quest Coast Steering in those photos. And then again, their friends will see an amazing image of them jumping off a cliff and they'll see the tag of themselves and think, yeah, maybe, and they'll visit our page as well. So it's, it's a snowball. It just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. I think it's really important to be able to just interact real time so if there's a question asked on the, the Facebook page then you can you can get back to that client or potential client straight away and obviously the whole the whole world can see that going on and they they also get people get a, a feel for the people in the business so it's not just the brand that's out there it's it's us as well and I encourage my staff to to get on our page and interact with what's going on on there if you're not already a user of Facebook you can just sign up and for those that are users of Facebook the like will then come up on your wall so everyone that's friends with you can see what you've liked. On Facebook, we've got 
uh, quite close relationships with various other organisations within the county. So for example, I visited quite a few accommodation providers, so again I can share all the stuff that they're up to and post links about them. I trust what they do and I trust in the product that they've got, so I'm happy to recommend them to, to prospective clients. People are going to leave reviews, good or bad. Um, we're doing really well at the minute with TripAdvisor in that a lot of our reviews are five stars. We need to respond to them all for a start and thank the person for taking the time to leave a review, but if it's particularly if it's a negative review, to get in there and, and try and you know resolve whatever the problem was. Don't just ignore it. There's far too many small businesses out there that are just, they're getting slated on TripAdvisor and they're not doing anything about it. The link on TripAdvisor is vital and search engine optimization as well. To have that link from such a big site coming into our site is, is really good. Google likes it. Our Twitter account, I think we're just shy of 3,000 followers now. So every time I tweet, there's 3,000 people will see that. You've got 140 characters, so 140 individual letters to get your point across. And then as soon as it feeds into a feed, and as soon as it's dropped off that page, that's it, it's all news, it's done. So I've set it up so that Facebook automatically will feed into it. So every time I update Facebook, it will send out a tweet. However, <laughs> you've only got 140 characters. So what it will do, it automatically sends out a half a sentence and then a little link. And that link will take you through to Facebook, which starts that snowball rolling. <laughs> If I'm uploading a photo, nine times out of ten, I'll do it via my smartphone. Um, so I'll upload to Facebook via the smartphone and then that will feed into Twitter. Or if it's just an update, so you're 140 characters, then I send a text. I can get laptop uh, Wi-Fi signal through the phone so I can sit on the laptop at the beach as well. But there's, there's no excuse, it takes seconds. YouTube is awesome. <laughs> The, all of the guides and the instructors take a camera out with them on every session. So we get lots and lots of footage and photo, video footage. And then I'll get back and if I can find time in my day, edit that into a video and upload it to YouTube, which in turn will feed into Facebook and things. So if somebody's gonna is tempted to try co-steering but they're not too sure what it is, you can describe it, you can show photos, but then if they see a video, there's a couple of guys actually that have edited up amazing videos for us and gone, oh, by the way, I've done this, and they'll put it up on YouTube. You don't have to pay to host, it does it all for you, so it will host the videos for you. So I, like on my site, on the homepage, I've got one of my videos, which is embedded into the homepage. So for a start, you can see the video there, and it's not costing me anything, but it will also add to the, the hits on, and views on the video itself. So every time somebody views that on my homepage, it adds to the, the total number of views of my my video and then the more views you get the more popular it will become in the search engine so it'll be higher and higher and higher so somebody searching for Pembrokeshire Coast Steering should <laughs> find one of my videos somewhere near the top. There's a trend whereby people that are looking for an activity will search on YouTube rather than on Google so you get the the visual response rather than just a, a list of links and say you wanted to go coast steering so you search for coast steering and I know that coast steering in Wales there are hundreds of really good videos of co-steering in Wales, you've got North Wales, Pembrokeshire, down towards the Gower, um, and the search engine optimization that they put into those videos puts them above Cornwall, Scotland, and other places in the UK. So it means that people that want to try the activity will end up coming to, to Wales to do it instead of elsewhere. So it's, it's definitely working. You need to think about what, what your, your client's gonna be searching for. So Wales, co-steering, what other things do I put, beach, fun days out, really vital to tag them because obviously it won't pick up on the, the visual or verbal content that's in the video, it will pick up on those tags which will make you jump up in the search engine results. In the beginning it was a struggle to try and do the Facebook, the Twitter, the keep up with TripAdvisor and just all these different things that you've got up in the air. But now that I've set up a system whereby you feed into Facebook and it will automatically tweet, put on YouTube videos and it automatically goes. So it just filters through. But I purposely, every day, will either sit at the laptop in the morning with my coffee or on the way to the beach, I'll send out a quick tweet via the smartphones. Brilliant. Brilliant invention. <laughs>